Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. The search for Waltham's next school superintendent continues. At their meeting on August 9th, the school committee asked the interim superintendent, Ms. Wilsinski, to stay on. She agreed, but said she wants to retire in January. She asked them to begin a search to fill her prior position as assistant superintendent for administration and finance, and they voted to do that as soon as possible. The committee discussed starting a new search for a permanent superintendent, and Mrs. Coleman expressed concerns that candidates might be turned off by the results of the recent interim superintendent search. I just, I feel like we went through the whole interim interview search, um, I mean, Mr. Kucher even said, like, people are watching. I just, I'm concerned at, like, who's going to apply to this right now? Um, and then we're throwing in a potential January start date for them. I mean, are these going to be the candidates that I we want to see? Um, or should we let it cool off for a little period? The committee voted to post the superintendent position as soon as possible with a start date of no later than July 1st of next year. Mayor McCarthy said Ms. Wilsinski will need to make recommendations about what to do if she retires in January and the new superintendent isn't available to start until July. Whatever time they start, it has to be aligned for the opening of a school year to get the best candidates, okay? But I also think that in the discussions with Mrs. Wilsinski, she can come up with recommendations to us to bridge that gap. But I think we can give Mrs. Wilsinski some, when we discuss with her, her contract, some flexibility be, as to what she thinks would be needed if she has to retire. In election news, Dwayne Champagne has ended his campaign for mayor. According to WCAC, Mr. Champagne let the city clerk's office know he is no longer interested in running. However, the deadline to officially withdraw from the election has already passed, so there will still be a preliminary election for mayor in September, and his name will still be on the ballot. Healthy Waltham, the nonprofit that offers food pantries many Waltham families rely on, finally has a long-term home. They announced last week that they will be moving to 123 Felton Street. Executive Director Miriam Michelle noted the building will need major improvements to turn it into the market-like space they envision and asked for the community's help raising capital to do that. Also last week, we learned that two of Waltham's proposed cannabis dispensaries are a step closer to opening their doors. You may recall the city council approved special permits for two pot shops earlier this year, but they still needed host community agreements signed by the mayor. On the 14th, Anthony Cardillo, co-owner of Thrive Cultivation and Dispensary, posted on Facebook that they have a signed agreement and are now just waiting on state approval. We got in touch with Uma Flower, who also said that they have a signed agreement and are just waiting on the state as well. Both dispensaries will be on Bear Hill Road. This week, the state housing secretary released updates to the guidelines for compliance with the MBTA Communities Act, including a list of 13 state grants that municipalities can lose if they fail to comply. Another update allows cities and towns to count mixed-use residential buildings with commercial space on the ground floor as part of their eligible units. The Waltham City Council needs to update our zoning laws by the end of 2024 in order to stay in compliance with the law. This coming Wednesday, the 23rd, the License Commission will meet at 7 p.m., and on Thursday, the 24th, the Conservation will meet at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Free concerts on the Common are ongoing on Tuesday evenings. This month's critical mass bike ride is on Saturday, the 26th, starting at 1 p.m. at City Hall. The preliminary election is coming up September 12th, so if you haven't already, check out our interviews with Colleen Bradley MacArthur, who's running for re-election for City Council at Large, and Barbara Ayala Rugdeal, who's running in Ward 3. You can find those on our YouTube channel, and this week I'll also be posting an interview with Emily Superior, who's running for City Council at Large. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.